Hello there guys, welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers and today I'm spotlighting a ship called Fury. Now this ship is a security class of ship so this thing is designed to fly side by side with other ships and basically protect them from harm's way. So this thing gets in the way of enemy vessels and shoots the crap out of them. Now this thing was designed by a guy called Talos and he's got a few more things on the workshop so I would go and check those out if I were you. There are some pretty cool things on there. And uh, it's it's very sort of, I don't know, very Star Wars-y. It reminds me of like a, I don't know, you know, like a Star Destroyer or something. And it's um, very thruster inspired, so there's lots and lots of thrusters everywhere. Um, he's got it nicely named here with some nice letters. Um, I think that's a different letters mod pack, which is quite nice. And again, it's got weapons galore. It also has a hangar on the bottom, which I didn't include in the front video. Um, purely for the fact that um, I wanted to concentrate more on the firepower. So, I don't think there's that much to see outside. I mean, it's got these two huge freaking CSD cannons uh, at the front, which are for forward-facing damage, just pure annihilation. And then it's got all these auto cannons as well. And then the AI auto cannons, which you can sort of use to completely annihilate your enemy. So I think we'll have a bit of a dalvage inside in the airlock which is just to the side of the ship and then we'll go through maybe do a weapons test and then of course maybe do a uh, shoot em up and a crash test so let's go inside and see what we've got to offer so instantly greeted by an airlock which is very simple just two doors and you know open one close the other whatever and instantly we're greeted with a very heavily defended sort of front room which has three turrets on and we have a desk there for signing in and just some other desks and this is just so the enemy when they do come in they are greeted with a peppering of fire which is nice to see now this guy has incorporated uh, light switches in certain areas like I've been doing with some of mine which is nice to see nice thoughts and sort of you know ideas on what to actually do with the ship I'm not sure oh, is that one turn the lights off down there still I think so um, but uh, we've actually got a little bit of ship damage here, which is weird. But uh, we come up here, everything's airlocked appropriately, so we've got doors going into everywhere, so it can seal different sections of the ship off, so it's super safe. And we've got a nice sort of operations room here with a few tables, a few desks, and a few screens which we can access and do our business and things through here. Um, some sort of planet there, or meteorite that they're looking at attacking maybe and lights yep so we go there's a light switch and i believe there's one here as well yep so we've got light switches pretty much everywhere very human sort of you know revolving so it's it's very much based around sort of people living here a lot uh, like a large period of time so i walked in here then and a sensor instantly triggered to say turn the lights on so this is a nice feature so it actually saves power We've got turrets in here as well, defending the reactors just in case the enemy want to come in and try and plant bombs. We've got some assemblers down here as well, and some storage. Very nicely compacted together, actually. Actually, Wow, I can't speak today. And we can cross over here, and we can actually go down further. So where's this taking us now? So, as we go through here, have we gone full circle? Um, if we come back through this lobby area. Yes, yeah, so we've actually come full circle. So we actually came through that door there. And we've gone through here, but as you can see, you walk in, and where is that sensor? I can't seem to find that sensor. But uh, that is a really nice feature anyway, to have them turn on as you enter different areas. Um, so we've been up we've been up these stairs, we went up these stairs, we've just come back down those stairs, and we'll go this way I think, and then we'll leave the main thing. I'm, I'm, I have a feeling those lead to the uh, main sort of hangar areas. So we've got a bit of open space here, which I'm guessing he couldn't really... Oh, he can play stuff here. I, I just think he maybe hasn't thought of placing anything here. Maybe want to keep it a bit open, just in case. Like a refuge area, if like they have to take on more passengers that are injured. You can lay them there. And come through here. That's like a main doorway. There's a few warp sections of the ship. I'm a bit worried about that. What's through here? Okay, so we'll leave that bit till... Sort of last, last. <laughs> so this is the hangar area. Now again, this these are the warpings that I'm finding, and they're very worrying. Um, I'm unsure why they're warping. I mean, if 
Talos happens to be watching this video, maybe try and explain that because I'm unsure why certain sections of the ship are, have decided to sort of break open and I don't know, go a bit crazy. Yeah, strange. So we just come through here and some lights and stuff have just turned off, went a bit laggy then. But we're in this main room, which is the area where you would have your ships come in and whatnot. And we've got some things here. What are these? What are these? What are you? Some blast door maglocks. Okay, so these are the maglocks that keep the doors closed, which is nice. Now, if we find there should be a control panel, is for lights or for doors? Lights or for doors? Uh, ooh, check that out. So we can have like multiple ships or two ships just drop out the bottom of this thing and attack maybe a few drones sitting along the side but again I'm unsure why there seems to be vast amounts of damage appearing on this ship it's a bit weird and I'm a bit scared that this thing's gonna blow up but those doors open really nicely quite you know, simple design and um, he's got a block in the middle to separate them up a little bit and he's got mag locks on which can hold the doors closed so if we just close that, turn off our hood, so those close up nicely as well, which is nice to see. Nice features to have some sort of doorways so you can allow your, you know, ships to come in and out freely. And the fact that it's that big to allow it for that, that's pretty good. Let's, uh, what's that? What does that do? I think it turns on a light, but I don't think the lights turned on. So in here we have a medical room. There's a bit of a maze around here, which is good. Uh, you have a bit of a medical room, a bit of a sick bay here where you can sort of, you know, look after your patients. You've got a bit of a nurse's desk there. And come back through here. What have we got around here? My god, so many doors. We've already been down there. Just lead back. Oh my god. How many doors are there to this place? I'm just going to open up everything. So we come from there, okay. That leads back to that main room. Okay, cool. So, I just make sure. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. So... We've got these lovely, lovely bunk bed areas um, where you can, I uh, believe you can lie in these. Is it to the side? Yeah, there we go. So you can actually lie in these and sort of watch the TV and chill out and just have a good time. And we've got some tables here as well, very nicely done. And light switch again so your men can uh, sleep in peace. And then a nice little crew quarters actually, a nice little eatery and, you know, coffee area. And again, there's a light switch over there. It's really quite nicely designed this, and again, I didn't realize there was this much space for, you know, this. So, we come back out into the maglock area, but sort of a floor above it now, which is kind of nice. And where does this take us? This takes us into a dark room, which leads to this weird corridor. Leads to another weird corridor, which leads back down here. <laughs> oh my god. And I believe we've just gone round robin. Have we just gone round robin? Yes, we have. So we could just go round round circles here. And this is another door into this place. Okay, I'm getting the gist of this place now. It's really weird coming into new ships and trying to, you know, wander around them, especially with so many doors. So, oh wow, it's just like a secondary command room, maybe. Most probably. Is this the front of the ship? Yeah, so it's like a, like an inner command room. That's really safe. And again, this is like the safe room by the looks of it, because there's heavy armor in here. So this is like the bridge that they would use if the first bridge was to have been destroyed for whatever reason. That is really nice. I like that. It's well thought out, that is. Uh, so we come up here. Where does this door lead us? It's a double door. Um, again, it leads back into here. Again, he's got like double airlocks, which is always good on some doors and these are airlocks in themselves so some confusing hallways and we're back in this main control room holy crap so that's back in there and that door's back where we came from um, down here yeah wow sweet jesus so this ship for what it is it's massive i mean i'm just still opening doors up here but Wow, that this this whole ship is like ridiculous in space. I mean, there's so much room for activities in here. It's unreal. I'm gonna try and find my way back to the uh, main walking area. Um, come around here. Come around here. Up, up. Back in the bridge. And down here. Is it down here? Yeah. Okay, so we're back in the main area. That, that's that's a right walk around to tell you. It's a really cool ship, anyway. So, we've had a look through the ship now. I would 
really say this is really well thought out. A bit of space here that could potentially be used for something. I'd like to see it used because it just seems a bit odd having nothing here when you could play stuff. But, you know, maybe he's thinking of something or maybe he's going to update it soon. You never know. So I think next we're going to go on to a weapons test and then we'll crash two of them into each other and see what happens. So see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we actually have the ship set up now. What we're going to do is just going to roll through some of the weapons and fire them maybe once or twice and see how they respond. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fire against, you know, the ship's weapons against itself. And then we will crash this ship into the ship that we shot at and see how it fares with, with like collisions and everything. Because this is quite a, like an arrowhead shape, so I'm expecting it to maybe sort of deflect a lot of the damage out to the sides and protect the inner core. But uh, we'll see. So, the first weapon we got is the cannons, um, CSD cannons, which as you can see, we've got like four weapons we can use. We've got the, the auto cannons, we've got the cannons, we've got the auto cannons, and then we also have the five and six, which are the um, which are the turrets, which are quite nice as well. So, I think we'll start off with the main cannons, and boom. So, these cannons we already know. The da their damage is pretty damn high, and compared, you know, to sort of smaller cannons, these things dish out the damage. However, they don't really break, they only break through sort of two shots break through one set of heavy armor. So, you know, these on, you know, on sort of uh, bearing against sort of, you know, heavier armored ships could potentially have issues, I think, if especially if you've got like a two thick layer of heavy armor as a ship that could be a real issue so next we're gonna fire the auto cannons so these are just your general sort of um probably do this there we go we've got a bit of movement now they've got a nice spread though we've got a triangular spread so these things don't dish out damage as well so these are probably more for just crippling small parts of the ship and they sound pretty cool as well so we're doing a little bit of damage but nothing too drastic. So I think what we'll do now is we go to the bigger auto cannons, which we control, which are very nicely placed, so we can't actually shoot one another's turrets. And these things, my god, these things are pretty damn heavy. And I think I found a glitch. <laughs> so these things are pretty damn good. So if we actually go into this mode and just keep firing, these things can really punch some damage. But look at this. We got the weird. Uh, effect of the screen. If I keep firing, there we go, we've got penetrations. So these things actually dish out quite some damage for what they are, which is just an auto cannon, which is good. So you can actually have some more accurate fire placed on, you know, the enemy, which is really, really good. Now I'm not sure what this timer block does. Hangar door timer. So he's actually got the hangar on a timer, which is cool as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll get a copy of this ship made and put it in the place of that target and we'll shoot at it for a little bit. See how it fares, see how many hull breaches we get and then we're going to smash them together and see what happens. See how fast this thing can go. Okay, so this is the ship we're going to be firing at. I am currently sat in the ship that I'll be firing with. Um, I've actually got them head on, um, just to kind of look at a point that I want to try and express because this thing is very flat and quite, you know, sort of um, angled on the front. So I'm hoping maybe the damage is a little bit less because of things deflecting, but we'll have to see. So I'm going to try the cannons out first and see what these do to this thing. So that's that. So these cannons are pretty straightforward, they tend to just go straight for anything, which is expected. Um, I'm just going to take another shot somewhere else, right there, get two shots on two different things, and maybe shoot on the winglets as well, see what happens there as well. So let's go for it there. So these pierce pretty damn well, which is uh, always a good thing with a ship like this. Um, you want like the heaviest weapon to just do as much damage as physically possible. So next we're going to have these cannons which have a massive scatter. Look at this. That scatter is really loud. But really good for... If, if the ship is small you can hit it with this thing. There's so many of them and they're, they're so spread out in like a triangle you, you can get a good sort of area of, of impact on a ship so that's pretty decent and then 
I think what we'll do is we'll just go on a six and we'll see what we can do. We're upside down here. With this auto cannon, just to give it some help. Just pop off a few rounds with it. See what happens. That's doing a fair bit of damage with this thing, my god. Let's keep firing a little bit more and I think we'll call it there. So let's have a look um, in if I go. Nine, one, um, that one, two. There we go. So let's have a look at the damage. So we've actually took off a few layers of armor here, but I think because of how how it's built, um, I don't think we've got any hull breaches now. So it's hit a few conveyors, but hasn't really hindered the working of the ship. I mean, some panels have taken more damage than others. But overall, I think that's done pretty well to, to fire against itself. And again, the weapons, though, are just ridiculously powerful. So you've got to put that in perspective. So that is pretty damn good. So I think what we can do now is the crash test. Now I'm going to sort of come in from the top, I think, see how much, if I can pierce that inner layer of the cockpit and see if I can damage it enough to cripple the ship. Okay, so I've got the ship lined up here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come out of the camera, I think. And T, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a F9. And we're literally going to floor it and see what damage actually occurs with this thing. Because I'm really intrigued to see how this shape of ship bears. Here we go. So we're coming in on a slight angle, hitting the top. And, oh, wow. And we're going to stop there. Ooh, wow. Shit. Well, it's safe to say there's definitely a whole breach. Let's back this up. I'm just going to pull away a little bit here. And let's see the damage to the front of our ship, which looks pretty damn extensive. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Um, I think I just saw the cockpit for the, for our ship exposed then let's have a look at this so where is this in relation to where we are oh shit so literally between another piece of armor like one or two pieces of armor is where we are which isn't good so, but it held up though. It held up, and it lost most of the nose. I think it lost most of its crucial components, such as like I think it was an engine and some sort of other things, um, maybe some storage and stuff. But that is pretty extensive damage, and I don't think I'd, I would not recommend this ship for a ramming. However, damage to the other ship is crazy. I think it's down to the shape, and I think I'm going to take this shape and have a look at it in more de detail and just see if things do actually work like arrows in this and as you can see we broke through to the main area on this ship which is where we are currently and we broke into this that means your pilots are dead um, we've crippled sort of the main hangar bay um, they can't open it besides going into computers and opening it and there's no buttons anymore and we've literally expose the whole ship. I mean all the doors are open but you can close some of the doors which is good and uh, sort of seal off that sector which is a good thing about this ship. You can actually seal off sectors so you can still survive for a little period of time. If there were oxygen in the game you'd, you'd have a limited amount of oxygen but it, there isn't so you don't have to think about that. Um, we've got a breach up here which is oh oh no well, that's not good and there's no door seal in that part off so we've actually breached into the second command room which isn't good at all because both command rooms are dead now <laughs> unless they've all got suits on so that's that really isn't good and we've actually got a breach down here as well which is into where well that can seal off anyway but that's opened up anyway <laughs> so either way the main operations of the ship are have been really significantly crippled and I wouldn't recommend this ship for ramming so that is that guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of testing i really do enjoy testing these ships to destruction like this and i hope you guys too so if you guys have enjoyed this video please like favorite and of course subscribe for more and don't forget to check out all the other spotlights i've done and i'll see you guys later peace